No. I'm out here down Delaware Park right now. About to put my bed in for the day. Play one game. I'm going to play. The money line on the Saints, I ain't got to worry about no points involved over Tampa Bay. So that way, if Tampa Bay, when they lose, they'll already be 0-1, which will help my future bet that I showed the ticket the other day. Yeah, I remember my pop used to always bring me. The only time we spent time together was when he would bring me down here. And uh, I would get to watch the horses run around the track every half hour. And it wasn't very entertaining. Every once in a while, somebody would ask me, if one of his friends would ask me if uh, I had to use the bathroom or if I was hungry. But other than that, that was it. Remember one time he brought me and my sister here the Saturday before Easter. And he tried to rush us to the mall out Straw Bridges to get us something to wear for Easter Sunday. So he sent me. He, he, he let me in my section. I was like 12. He let me in my section to pick out what I wanted. My sister was like 10. So he took her to get what she needed. Plus, she was a girl. And when I got what I wanted and went to where my sister and he were, I left the section that I was in and he couldn't find me. So he was worried. And when he came up to me, he just slapped me in the face. And it was in front of these two 12-year-old black girls named Heather, too. I remember being so embarrassed because he did that. And the woman that worked in the store, in the strawberries, she knew my pop. And she said, no, he was here waiting for you, Jim. And all I got was, come on! That's all I got. I didn't get no apology or nothing, but I remember that shit embarrassed the shit out of me. But anyway, getting on that. But when I made that video, I'm sorry I put the comments on, but then again, I'm sorry I left them on. But uh, I'm, I wish I took them off, but I'm glad I left them on because I made it because I didn't make it because I wanted um, people to uh, I seem like I was showing off. I did it because, you know, really people lie for no reason. Lacey, you haven't produced shit. So I'm just going to believe you were full of shit because there was no reason for you to say anything at all. I remember like part of having a good life is experiences that you, things that you do, places that you go, shit that you see. And I remember going to see Wu-Tang Clan. And they said, hold on. No, it was about people just lie for no reason, man. There was no reason at all for you to say anything at all. Like when I was at, like I was saying, that was it, Wu-Tang Clan. They said, Raekwon said at the end of the concert, um, all my niggas that, got, that are driving cars right now clap. And everybody clapped. I started yelling, well, what about houses? What about the... Niggas with houses, and I didn't even have anything. I was still, I didn't have a house yet. So I was ready to motivate the next person to do what I wasn't doing. Like if I saw somebody post, what, 10 grand? I would say, keep doing you. I would, I would motivate them to keep going. Like, uh, and you know, the people that came and said, you know, nice bathroom, keep building this, that, and the other. I wasn't looking for that either, but I appreciate it though, but I wasn't looking for that. I was basically, you know, basically proving the point that people lie for no reason. Um, yeah, this place is crazy now. They don't really want anybody coming in there at all. I was here the other night, but well, never mind. But yeah, I did it because people lie for no reason. I never understood that. I just never understood it. I just, and I never will understand it. But then again, you know, part of it, you know, I didn't want it to seem like, and I thought about it, oh shit, long and hard that, you know, some people might take it that I'm being a braggart, trying to make it out that I got it better than everybody. And I know that's not the case, but no matter what you show, Lacey, which you're not going to show nothing, but if you show a bunch of, like, a nice looking chick and nice cars, that would mean you were in a lot of debt to me. And a nice looking chick, I don't really got no use for one of those because I'm not, I don't feel like, I don't want to do the sex thing like that. I just don't. I really do not. So, and plus, you know, once I'm done betting this game here and uh, go home, put a video together, I ain't got to worry about nobody being there. See, I like the fact that nobody, I don't got to share what little I have with anybody that I don't want to share it with. And that's most people. So, you know, that makes it better for me. You know what I'm saying? 
but yeah, um, I'm going to play the Saints. Uh, I got more walking to do, and I don't feel like doing all this walking. I didn't know how to walk this far. But yeah, uh, but you're welcome to stay, Lacey, for real. You can stay. John the Baptist, you can stay. Like the, run, the other dude, Danny Berenger, I ran him up out of here. See, that's what's here. See, you're going to tell me you want to date a girl that's that big? See how big she is? And she probably thinks she's a shit, too. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to play the Saints on the money line so it doesn't matter how much um, how much they uh, they win by. They just got to win the game. Uh, I'll show the ticket provided it wins because I'm going to come back out here tomorrow to cash in. I'm coming. Okay. Then why would you talk to me then? All right. Um, yeah, see y'all. Bye.